Simplify the expression. Assume that all variables represent positive real numbers. This is the square root of 54, x to the fifth, y to the sixth. Well, one thing we do when we simplify radicals is we take out as many perfect square factors as possible. So let's think of a way to rewrite this so that we can see those perfect squares. 54 has a perfect square factor of 9. Let's write it as 9 times 6. x to the fifth isn't a perfect square, but we can write that as x to the fourth times x so that we can see a perfect square factor in it. y to the sixth is a perfect square. Now let's take the square root of these pieces that are perfect squares. The square root of 9 is 3, so that came out. The square root of x to the fourth is x squared. That comes out of the radical. The square root of y to the sixth is y to the third power, and that comes out. Underneath the radical, we'll leave 6 and x. So our simplified form, then, is 3x squared y cubed times the square root of 6x.